How's it going y'all? My name is Jevin and today we are checking out this backpack which is the VanQuest 8x18. So this has been my everyday carry backpack for about the last three months. Um, been really enjoying it. It's uh, a super stout backpack, ton of organization. I think this could be uh, your new daily carry. I went with the all black version. VanQuest has um, I think four different colors. They have this black, a multicam black, um, a gray, and a blue. I went with the all black. They were actually out of the multicam. I was thinking about going that route, um, but I'm glad I went with the black. It's kind of a low key, covert little little backpack. The material is a 400D Urban Blend is what they're calling it. Uh, it is a nylon poly fabric with multi PU coatings. So this thing is super stout and pretty water resistant as well. All of the zippers um, are standard YKK zippers, except for this one, which is the laptop compartment. And they're using an AquaGuard zip on there. Um, I went ahead and replaced their Spartan zipper poles, which are these ones. I, I just kind of wanted to add some color. Um, there's nothing wrong with these. They're just kind of thickens and I didn't really want these fatty situations so and I wanted a little color so I added uh, these ones from Amazon like forget the brand D D Y S something rather I don't know <clears throat> they were cheap came in a pack for the you know covered the whole backpack so that was kind of cool let's go ahead and jump right into this thing um, I'm gonna go through the whole thing each pocket, the uh, interior, and see if this is a backpack that might work for you for your daily needs. So we'll start with this front pocket. This is probably my favorite pocket right here. This thing has a ton of organization. I can get that open. So look at all those. It's got a bunch of these nylon um, like undie band situations and they're super great honestly I, I'll show you later I'm gonna the whole backpacks empty right now but um, I'm gonna pack the whole thing out and so you can see what all will will fit in here on top of that it's got another let's see, another little hidden pocket right there which is really cool and that just velcros shut um, this is a 210d ripstop nylon with a DWR coating. Um, this stuff is really like, kind of see it there. Really heavy duty, kind of that like honeycomb ripstop look. Um, it's really nice stuff and it's high vis, which I personally love. Um, I've had backpacks with gray interiors and black interiors and all that. And I gotta say having this high vis orange is awesome. You never lose anything. Um, this is their, what they're calling tough mesh pockets. There's a, uh, quite a few of these in this backpack as well. And they have their own volume, which is really cool. Um, you can fit a ton of stuff in here. That's pretty much that pocket. I love that it comes down about that far. <clears throat> Let me zip that back up. This pocket, on the contrary, is probably my least favorite pocket of the whole backpack. Um, I tend to put stuff in here that I'm just not gonna use as much because it's kind of annoying if I'm being honest. So when you unzip this and this whole thing is loaded out, it's really tough to get inside of here, especially when this pocket is loaded out. So anyways, I'll show you. You can kind of see in here. There's actually three individual pockets in there. Um, if you're kind of a, um, a guy that carries weapons and whatnot, there's three slots for mags. Um, and if not, there's three slots for a bunch of other things um, that could easily fit in there. There's also more of that webbing that you can organize, but I don't, I don't really use any of that. I know um, one of the guys on YouTube mentioned to me that he ended up just cutting those out because they're 
sort of useless and can sort of just kind of be in the way. So anyways, um, I'll show you what I put in this pocket. I, I think um, the biggest upgrade they could do to this backpack is doing the same thing they did with this pocket, this main pocket. Bring the zipper down to like here, about halfway down, and this thing would be awesome because then you could really access everything that's in there um, quickly and easily. So that's that pocket. All the new backpacks um, in this uh, model, the 8-ax model, are coming with this Velcro patch, which is kind of cool. If you have your own patches, you can stick them on there or whatever you want to stick on there. That is hook and loop. Main compartment. The main compartment, this is not a panel loader style backpack. Um, it's about a half zip setup. So folds down to about there. Um, what's unique about this setup is that pretty much the whole interior of the main compartment is hook and loop. So we're talking about patches. Get yourself a sweet chill times patch and be chill. The other cool thing about this backpack is another tough mesh zip here. Um, look at all this volume and it's sort of see-through which is rad because sometimes if you're opening the main compartment or the front compartment they're placed in the exact same spot um, so it's nice to see what you have in there. Um, you can easily tell, you know, if that's like, this is usually my snack zone where I keep snacksters. The one bummer about this main compartment is that they did utilize it for water bottle pockets as well. It has these, um, snap open. Can you see that right there? Um, that will hold like a 32 ounce water bottle and I'll show you that later when we pack this thing out. Um, but you know, they stay out of the way when you don't need them. They, they snap shut up against the, the, um, edges of the backpack and that's fine. One side I, I keep like a fixed blade, uh, you can see here. Um, and that's pretty much the main compartment. The last bit of this backpack internally is the laptop compartment. The zips come down about a quarter of the way, maybe almost halfway down. And this um, compartment is AquaGuard zipper, um, which is great. Keep your, keep your super expensive stuff extra safe. This whole compartment is padded. Um, the middle, this little middle guy right here is padded. The back's padded. And I think this even has a little bit of padding here. This is that same ripstop material. Um, and then the hook and loop on the back panel. Um, so it's got one Velcro nylon stretch guy here to keep your gear where you want it. Um, my 13 inch MacBook Air, M2 MacBook Air fits perfectly in there with a ton of room. Uh, I was even able to get my wife's 2019 16 inch MacBook Pro in there. It comes, you know, right up to the edges, like it's right there, but it fits. And you could probably get that and another MacBook or an iPad or whatever in there. There's a ton of room in there. Um, so yeah, that's, that's really great. The back panel is, um, high density foam and it's breathable. You can see it has a, a bunch of these little aeration situations. Um, the straps are very padded, dense foam. They're not, they don't make a ton of noise. They're, they're really great. I, I don't have any problems with them. All of the hardware are ITW and Duraflex hardware. And on the stern, sternum strap, there's a whistle, which is, Kind of cool if you need a whistle ever. You never know what kind of situation you're going to be in. I know people say this all the time on YouTube, but it's kind of the easiest way to explain it is seatbelt material. This material is very seatbelt-like. Um, 
and it's really soft and really strong and pretty great to use. Comes with strap keepers um, right here that you can just kind of roll up onto itself. That works really well. Stays out of the way and easy to tighten up on your back, the straps. There's a top grab handle right here, which is great. I use that every day. I'm not really like um, packing this out and wrecking around with it. Uh, I'm not like, I mean, currently I'm not like taking it on hikes and all that kind of stuff. This is sort of my um, everyday carry backpack that I'm packing out with everything I need in a day, what I could potentially need in a day, and chucking it in my truck. It's going with me everywhere. It's going to the coffee shop, it has all my tech stuff in it, it's got water in it, it's got snacks. Um, and then I run a local tour company and we use 1970s Pinsgowers. And so sometimes this will even fit like a full size NOCO battery boost pack. Um, and so sometimes that'll replace my tech pouch. And I'll show you, I'm gonna load it all out right now and then you can kind of see how it all fits. So we'll start with, uh, let's start with the main compartment. This is an in-case tech pouch. All my tech gear in there. 32 ounce water bottle. Slides right in so you can kind of see. That's like nice and tight. Nothing's really moving around and shifting around at all. Um, lately, I've been keeping this North Face rain shell. I live in San Diego, California, and it's supposed to be sunny, and it has not been sunny. It has been wet. I feel like I'm living in Washington. So, anyways, that goes in there. Let's start with this pocket, because it's kind of annoying. A um, few things I put in there. I keep a little first aid kit, always. Oh, thanks Siri. I keep a first aid kit, so kind of just slide that down into the corner. I'm completely avoiding those little pockets because these things don't fit in there, and so it doesn't really make sense, and these are like the things that I'm not grabbing super often. Um, this is my Maxpedition kind of little go pouch. I'm gonna do another video on this. Um, these things are great. It holds all kinds of little random emergency stuff. And if I'm not taking my backpack, I take this out and I bring this with me. Um, and it's, it's awesome, I'll do a video on that. <clears throat> so then that kind of goes in next to that. And then glasses, reading glasses, just kind of slides in on top of those sunglasses like that you can kind of see that's like packing it out filling it out let's go to this pocket with all the organization so we've got um my favorite flashlight probably is this olight warrior mini i love this thing um, it's not too massive this thing fits right there Never know when you're going to spill some gear on your gear, so keep some Tide. I ate a lot of pizza on a, on my tour, so I get sauced. Um, hand sanitizer. This is always great to have. Clean your gear. Man, I gotta stop saying gear. Um, in the little extra pocket, business cards. It's kind of nice because those are kind of out of sight until you need them. I like to keep a little extra battery pack for my iPhone. That can kind of slide in there. A little comb slash mustache comb. Keep my gear in check. So that kind of... That kind of does that. I think I usually have some more some more stuff in there, but um, anyways, this is majority of it for now. Little pill pack. This is kind of when I start using this tough mesh pocket. Um, this kind of keeps things um, separated from each other. 
um, which is great. So that's nice and tight. And obviously you can see, you can fit a ton more in there. Um, I don't always bring that tech pouch with me in the main compartment. And so when I'm bringing that battery pack, I'll, I'll trade out that tech pouch and I'll use some of these other pockets as my tech pouches. That's pretty much it. I don't have my laptop here, so, um, but obviously if that's easy, you can kind of see the one thing that um, sort of starts to annoy me a little is this situation right here. It kind of does this weird buckling thing. And I heard that the 25 liter is even worse with that. Um, so I, I mean, I don't know. I'm kind of like a visual. I like the way things look. And um, between the taco situation and when this thing is really loaded out and heavy, it starts to happen right here is this little divot. Can you see that? It kind of starts to, to do a little wedge, especially when you pull on this top handle a lot. It's not a massive deal, honestly. It's just a weird thing. I don't like looking at it when it does that. That's pretty much it. I'm gonna throw it on my back so you can see what it looks like. I'm five foot 10 for reference. That's pretty much it. Um, if you guys have any more questions about it, feel free to comment below. Um, I'm gonna be super active on here and try to answer whatever questions that you guys may have. Um, if I miss something, let me know. But uh, otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, please like this video and subscribe if you're into gear. I'm gonna be um, starting to bust out a bunch of videos here shortly, so I would super appreciate the love. Um, hope everything is going good in your life. And yeah, cheers.